Hello everybody and thank you for joining again. This time we're going to take a look at advanced bursting. Now earlier we set up a basic bursting schedule where we were plucking one single report group or maybe two out of a crystal report and sending them each to a specific destination um, different from each other. Well what if I have dozens or maybe even hundreds of group values within my crystal report? And moreover, the report's updated regularly and there's always new group values that are added all the time. Well, that sounds like a job for advanced bursting. What the advanced bursting schedule will do is it will take a look at your report, it will run all of the group values that are found in group header 1, and then deliver them wholesale to a destination. Let's get started. First, we'll select bursting once more. and then we'll start our wizard. Similar to before, we'll select our report and name it and such. Once you're happy with your description and your name and your keywords, we now have an extra option here to parse report fields from the report. What this does is we'll interrogate your crystal report, read all the values, and then use them as inserts later on in the schedule. Keep in mind, this does take a bit longer for your report to run, as we're interrogating the report at runtime and using the fields. So if you have a pretty hefty report, you might want to think twice about using this feature if you're interested in ensuring the, the export time being as short as possible. For this particular exercise, I'm actually going to select it. Click Next. We'll decide our timing as usual. Click Next. And then we'll pick the particular parameter value that we want this bursting schedule to run for. This particular report actually has parameters in it. Keep in mind, it'll run for the particular parameter that you select. So now we're going to run this for Alfred's Futterkist. And now we're going to so go through our report options here for database logins. Now we need to decide whether we're going to do this the simple way or the advanced way. Well, as I said earlier, we've already looked at the simple bursting where we're manually picking specific groups to burst. And we're manually assigning a destination for each group. What we actually want to do is advanced bursting. We want to select all of the groups in the crystal report. And we're going to send this to multiple destinations and formats. We can even, since we've checked that box earlier on, parse report groups, parse fields from your crystal report, and actually use those in the export process in the form of inserts. So let's pick advanced. Now that we have here our little advanced wizard, we're going to pick the particular group value that we want to burst by. In my case, in my crystal report, this new one, month is within group header 1. So I'm going to be bursting this report by month. Now, I actually want it to I need to select the particular group value that I want it to run for. In the basic way, I would be just selecting April and then dropping it down. But, as stated earlier, we actually want it to run for all the group values within our crystal report. So we're going to click this double arrow here. All the group values in my crystal report will automatically be pulled out and ran. So we'll generate a unique file for April, we'll generate a unique file for August, a unique file for January and March, all based off of what's ever in group header 1. What if you're going to be adding some group values in the future? Well, by checking this box here, we'll automatically include all of the group values that are present at runtime. 
So even if they weren't there when you initially set up the schedule, if we now see them when we run the report again, we'll actually include those. Once you're happy with all the group values, or say that you're not, you can actually pick a particular one and press the up arrow to take it out. So you can run it for all the group values except for one. Once you're happy, click Next. Now it's time to add the destination. If we click Add, we can now determine where all of these reports are going to head off to. In this particular case, I want to actually fax all of these reports to a particular fax machine. So I'm going to select fax. Now normally, I could just type in a static fax number. But in reality, I actually want to deliver it to specific fax numbers based on my crystal report fields. Well, why not suck those out? by using a crystal report field insert. Simply pick it up and drag it and drop it there. So now we're actually going to deliver it to all the facts to each fax number within my crystal report fields that's being bursted out by. I can continue using these crystal report fields as well. Once you're happy with your output, click OK. And now you can keep adding destinations accordingly. Once you're happy with your destinations, click Next. Again, you can use exception handling, which please feel free to take a look at the tutorial for that. And then you can also run any number of custom tasks off the back of it. Please see the custom task tutorial for that stuff too. So once you're happy with your bursting schedule, click Finish. And as you see, my advanced bursting schedule is located here. If I right click on it, I can go back to the properties to make changes. I can disable the schedule altogether, or I can execute it on demand. Well, there we go. We've just set up an advanced bursting schedule that's going to pluck all the group values out of group, va group header one of your report, generate a unique file for each one, and then send it wholesale to a particular destination. Thank you very much for joining.